Hello everybody, welcome back to the Klaus Restoration Reviews and Crafts channel. We've been missing y'all, good to have you back. How dare you take my opening. You know I'm the one that does all them openings. Wait till after this skit. I'm gonna come over there and pull, pluck all your feathers off. Man, you ain't gonna pluck nothing off me. I'll yank out that monkey fur with some hot wax. Anyway, it's good for me to do open every once in a while. Perks me up. Man, you'll find out what I can't pluck off. And ain't nobody gonna wax me. Man, when I get mad, <laughs> man, I can get it going on. I'm gonna come over there and turn your beak sideways in a minute. So, everybody, that blabber mouth already done my part. So what's the show going to be about today? Well, you want to try that? I'll come over there and black both your eyes. <laughs> both of my eyes are already black. Ain't going to be black in my eyes. Well, I'll white them then. Anyway, the show is going to be about putting an on-off switch on a wire so you can on-off your stuff without pulling the plug out. So this wire was put on by the person that bought the product. Can't even talk. Well, the person that bought the product and didn't uh, come with a on off switch of course because it's a damn wire you put on yourself mm -hmm. so what you've got to do is make your own on off switch the original on off switch on the fans on the damn ceiling we're going to climb a ladder up there and turn that on now so he put an on off switch in the wire down below low and fixed it all up anyway he's going to put up an on off switch if anybody don't know what that is it's a switch with an on off on it you turn it one way stuff goes on you turn it the other way stuff goes off Show does. Miraculous. Wonderful, ain't it? And I'm all bamboozled. Man, that's going to be interesting watching an on-off switch get installed. But there's more to putting an on-off switch than meets the eye. You can get shocked, burn your house down, do everything else. A lot of stuff can go wrong. You can get boo-boos with that thing. You're holding screwdrivers, knives, shredders, cutters. Man, mm, I don't know how it's done. So we're going to have to watch the video and find out. And if it's safe, we'll do it. But if a jackass is looking like he don't know what he's doing, don't follow that. But this guy does know what he's doing. Man, he is a damn weasel. You know what the baboon says? Stupid weasel thinks he knows everything about everything. Yeah, we're going to watch that be put on. Yeah, man, we're going to have to get this done. I can't think of a damn thing to say. I just got my feelings hurt. A lot of stuff going on in the background. Screaming, yelling, cat fights. Man, it's all happening. We'll have to get this show on the road. And you know, one time I tried to connect the cord with electricity, plugged it in, and I had the little skinned, skinned wire on it, and I didn't see it. Touched my nuts, lit me up like the 4th of July. Man, my, my sperm was cross-eyed for two weeks. <laughs> Man, you gotta watch that shit. Man, you mess around electricity, you be fried, died, and laid to the side with that stuff. I don't do electricity. That farmer does. Man, he put up an electric fence to keep those cows away from his corn. I didn't know it. I went flying out one morning, running that electric fence, shut off the whole power to the whole block. I was fried, smelling like a barbecue chicken. Man, <laughs> man, I like to sing that. The crow and the monkey. One smelled like a barbecue chicken, one with fried nuts. Man, that like, sounds like a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Burnt, what is it? Burnt crow and fried nuts. Man, I'd hate to be that cow that touched that thing. But it'd be like a cheeseburger in five seconds. But that thing fried me up good. You wouldn't believe. All right, we're going on to the joke now. That's what somebody in the background just said. Get on with the joke. Yeah, it's time to get on the joke anyhow. Don't want to run this thing on too long. Actually, I do, but can't think of nothing else to say. This stuff's ad lib. We ain't got no damn script. So here's the joke. What is long, wide, and it's something that hangs on the front of a man? A necktie. <laughs> Dirty minds again. So we'll see you next time on the Klaus Crash Reviews Restoration Channel. Build it, fry it, cook noodles, whatever the hell is you want on this damn channel. But we're going to do it. So goodbye and we'll see y'all later on the Monkey and Crow Show. Monkey always first. Monkey the star. Monkey the star. Man, I'm going to come over there in a minute and make you a shooting star. You don't shut up. You're always so envious. So jealous. Yes. The monkey, always the star. Yes, never has been. So we'll see you all next time on the Monkey and Crow Show. Goodbye.
atas. This fan, how I should have video when I was fixing it, but I didn't think to, so I'll video after. The way this fan is built, it has a safety mechanism. It has one of these E clips in it, but a very small one. This here, this very small E clip. And what it does is if this fan has any kind of problem, overheats or anything, something happens to the spinning mechanism that spins the fan, that clip, when it gets hot, so hot, that clip will come loose. It has two round magnets inside. When the clip breaks, the magnet, this bottom part drops and it separates this round magnet here and this round magnet here and that stops it from spinning. That way this will be less likely to catch your house on fire. But you can still hear the motor running, but it won't spin. And for some reason, when I bought this fan new, the pin broke. So it may have been just a faulty pin. It happens. Those things are made by the hundreds of thousands a month, or maybe even a week. So it just broke. So what I did was buy a whole bunch of these, because I knew if this happened once, because that's the way these fans are made now. Which one, is he, which one do you use? The big one? I didn't use the big one, but <laughs> you can't see the small one. But this is what. We it can still get it picked up. So this here, this little bitty tiny one, I'm going to have. It's kind of hard to put in, but you can get it in. See. The best way to get it in, because it's really tight. It's the same size as the one that broke. The best way to get it in is to re completely remove this bottom part and it's got a spindle sticking up. I'm cutting that. Yep, and also you have to cut this top, cut it through here. You can do it prettier than this when you fix it back. Uh, this is the way I've done it with uh, Utah tape. And uh, anyway, you can pull the whole bottom part out, snap the pin in, pull the pin back out, stick it back up through here, and then push the pin in that way. It'll separate the pin a little bit because it's really hard to get in, but never get it in that way. So now, because I didn't have these before, we had it wired with a piece of wire, a little piece of wire. It didn't work, but it removes the safety mechanism part. It won't drop. If something happens to the fan, the wire is holding it, the E-clip won't detach, it won't drop. It'll still spin, to catch on fire, all that. So by having it wired up, the safety mechanism is going to work. So what we, I did, like I said, was I ordered these. 300 of them, all different sizes, 
like I said, if it happened once, it happened again because all the fans now are made like this. So now, so now I'm going to check to see if the blade will spin. Make sure this cord is away from it. It's already turned on. Make sure the cord is away from it and that if all works. What's your stomach? If everything works and if this hits you, it won't hurt me. I've hit these on my head before sometimes climbing the ladder. With this little dingy plastic, it's not going to cut your head off. It's not going to do anything. It's not like a movie. It still hurts. It's not like a movie where a sibling fan in the living room chops you in half. It, it's, it can't be done. Those things are not sharpened. They're blunt pointed. The worst thing you're going to get, unless you hit in the eye, the worst thing you're going to get is a bruise. So hold it out from you. Don't let it hit you. Those that say chop, it's not going to do it. Make sure it's on. Cords out of the way. Stick it in. See if the suspense is killing me. If we did it wrong, the blade won't spin, but the motor will still spin because the two magnets are apart. When the magnet goes down in the other magnet, it will spin. That's what it should be. So here it goes. And there we go. Ceiling fan. Oh, it's dangerous. Look out. You might get a, a, a light bruise. Looks like we got it. Now all you do is hang it back up. And we got air in. And there you go. How come you didn't video it? Because you forgot. I didn't video it because I didn't think about it. Uh, because it's supper time. I'm hungry. I didn't think about it. I just wanted to get it done, get it over with, and then after that, you know, it's it's worth seeing how those magnets working there. Because one slide, they're both around, and one slides down inside of the other one, and then it spins. But when you separate them, it stops spinning. And we're not gonna take that off just to show. How to fix it really hard. Something happens to it again. It's really hard to put the pin in. <laughs> yeah, that pin, you really gotta, you have needle nose pliers, and trust me, small needle nose pliers, not big ones. Uh, you're gonna be going to war with this thing for a good 10 minutes, probably. These here will not work. I brought these in. I have no idea why I shut those. Gotta get small ones. Like I said, pull the bottom off and put it in first. You have to take that apart and use your brain. Yeah. If you have a broken pen but still spin, I mean, still the motor works means there's something you can repair in there, right? Yeah, the motor worked but it just won't spin. Yeah. So we just took it apart. And then when we took it apart, that e clip fell out. It's still in there. It was just yeah, broke on the end. Yeah. What broke in the middle was broke on the end. It just fell out. And I was thinking, damn it, e clip. So that's it. Fix the fan, simple, easy, runs on magnets, safety fan. Now I'm gonna go put it back in the bedroom after I eat. Then we're gonna have good, a good air in there. We'll circulate hot air. Dean. It's not, because it's not an air conditioner, we'll just circulate hot air. <laughs> Pro. Behind the scenes stuff going on. Take one. Ceiling fan on off switch. Take one. In alert. Dirty minds again alert. You should make What is it? Okay, I won't answer my own next time. Let's get this done. Okay, what's next? That's it. Crow. Goddamn crow already! Why would you shut the fuck up? Damn! I forgot what I was gonna say. You know what's funny? What the hell? What did you say last, man? I don't know. Me either. Ain't nothing next. We're getting the hell out of here.